Good afternoon everyone, how are you doing today? Um, I am going to be talking to you today as part of my next video blog um, series all about budgeting. Um, so just as we wait to see who can join us, I'll just make sure I'm in the right place because that's always a good start. Hi Louise, how are you? Right, okay, so as always, I've got my 15 minutes deadline <laughs> um, because of Instagram. Right, okay, right. So as I said, today I'm gonna be talking about budgeting for your wedding. So I get a lot of people ask me, you know, is it feasible to organize a wedding with a specific budget? and they have, may have already booked their venue, so they know how much they got left. So, it's, it can be like swings and roundabouts, not really sure where to start, but I would always advise people to look at their budget before they even book a venue. So, you may have always had this venue in mind, of it being where you want to get married, um, but until you really start thinking about what type of wedding that you want, um, how many guests that you want, because, you know, I go on about this all the time, but obviously the more guests you have, the more budget you're going to need, because more guests equal um, bigger venue, um, more catering costs, more drink costs, more stationary costs. So, yeah, that is basically a, a deciding factor. Um, so work out exactly how much money you've got to spend. That is obviously the first thing that you need to do, um, even before you start looking at venues. And then really think about what type of wedding that you want. So last week I talked about styling your wedding. So if you haven't downloaded my free ebook, I would recommend that you go and do that. Um, just because it gives you tips and advice on how to kind of narrow down what it is you actually want on your wedding day, how you want your wedding day to look and how you want people to feel. Um, because last week I talked about, you know, how overwhelming Pinterest, Instagram can be. Um, and it'll really help you kind of understand what it is that you want and what you like. Um, so yeah, work out what type of wedding you want. Um, if you want a big wedding, then obviously you need to see if your budget will cater for it. Um, because the average, I mean, anyone can, you can do weddings without a large budget. I'm not saying you need a big budget to have a beautiful wedding. Um, the average, they say the average cost for wedding at the moment is around the 30 grand mark. Um, but like I said, it is all dependent on what you want. So if you are thinking, okay, I've got a 20 grand budget, but I want all these beautiful flowers that I've seen on Instagram, like a flower wall, I want flowers everywhere, I want a flower arch, I want flowers all over the tables, I want a beautiful bouquet, you know, that is going to start eating into a big chunk of your budget. Um, there are ways that you can lower the cost of florists, so um, or flowers, so you can use dry flowers, for example, which are becoming a lot more popular. Um, but you really need to think about, so when you're thinking about what type of wedding you want, also think about what are your non-negotiables. So if the food is really important to you, you want amazing five-star quality food, um, you don't want to compromise on the quality of the food whatsoever, then you know that your catering costs are probably going to be slightly higher than someone who isn't really a big foodie and doesn't really worry about the food. So I always use food as an example because I am a massive foodie and it's nearly half one and I haven't had my lunch yet. So <laughs> food is on the brain, food is on the brain. Okay, so yeah, I've just talked about what are your non-negotiables. So yeah, think about what things you aren't willing to 
compromise on um, and have a look when you do start looking at venues start to think about what that venue includes so there's a, there are a lot of dry hire venues around um, which just you're paying just for the venue so they don't include your catering costs um, they don't include any kind of package so they don't include I don't know table centerpieces for example some venues you may even have to hire in your furniture so your tables chairs especially if it's a completely blank canvas so when you're looking at your venue think about venues will generally be your most expensive cost but obviously if they don't include catering then you need to make sure that you have a big enough budget to be able to include that as well um and have a think about what you're willing to do yourself so um there was a blog post recently that I contributed to about do-it-yourself weddings, um, which I can post in the comments after this. But, you know, if you think, okay, I want, don't want to compromise on food, I don't want to compromise on flowers, so that is a big part of my budget. So I am willing to, you know, produce my own table plan or on the day stationery. I will do all the name places and the table numbers. Um, you know, that can be a way to help reduce your cost. Um, yeah, and then, then also have a look at different suppliers. So if you don't have a clue or you don't know anyone else who's got married who you can kind of um, bounce your ideas off and think, you know, this is going to cost this much, this is going to cost this much. Again, music, massive one. If you're going to have um, a band or um, singers come in rather than have a DJ, that again will cost a lot more. But I know a lot of people, they they don't want to compromise on that. That's what they want. They have a specific band um, that they want to book. So that is one thing that they're not willing to compromise on which is absolutely fine it's your day you want you should do it exactly how you want to do it and um you know you should have what you want because it's your special day but there are ways around you know reducing costs in certain areas um if you don't have an endless budget which a lot of people don't at the moment um so that's kind of everything i wanted to cover um if you've got any questions, then like I say every week, just pop your questions in the comments below or send me a message. Um, or if you want to go over to my website, which is www.carolinlouiseweddings.co.uk, and you can have a look at my services. You can send me a, an inquiry form directly from my website. Um, Obviously, if you book a full plan with me, then I help with budget management anyway. Um, and, you know, we can have a look. I would c keep you in the loop and advise you along the way. Look, maybe we need to look at either extending the budget or looking at ways we can help reduce it if we're getting close um, to your budget. Um, oh, the other thing I don't think I said yeah, it's got, got some time, is always make sure you get more than one quote. So if you are looking for, um, well, I use a photographer example, but that is all. I think photography is very dependent on the person, maybe rather than the price. Um, you know, you have to really get on with that person, like them, feel comfortable around them because they are going to be taking photos of your day so maybe I won't use photography as an example um uh, let me think what can we use um bands again florists let's use florist example so um you can go and get quotes from different florists um maybe with your I don't know decor hire um if you're hiring a marquee um you know, dance floor, lighting, all those types of things, which are generally the same wherever you get them from. And I would always look at 
um, getting different quotes. And if you know someone who can recommend someone as well, then, you know, recommendations go a long way. Or And also if the venue, because the venue will sometimes recommend certain suppliers, you don't have to go with those suppliers because they, they may not be the best fit for you. So don't worry if your venue gives you a list of suppliers. Um, yeah, you can go and get a quote from them, but you don't have to use them. So just keep that in mind as well just because I mean the venue will have them on their list because they've probably worked there a lot with a lot of their brides um they they're trustworthy um so you know you know they're going to turn up and all that kind of thing but you know you don't have to use them you don't have to so you can go and get quotes from other places as well um so that's all I'm going to talk about today um I hope that's been of some use. I know it's a massive kind of topic so as I I think I probably said this last week as well but I could literally talk about budgeting for ages but yeah always think so just to sum up I think you know decide what your budget is right at the start before you even book anything. Um, think about what your non-negotiables are, what you're willing to compromise on um, make sure you get more than one quote before you book someone um, and make sure you do a bit of research before you start booking anything so making sure that your venue what your venue includes if it doesn't include catering then that's going to be an extra thing on your list um, keep track of it as well so write everything down you know do some research online if you google um, wedding budget or wedding checklist there will be templates that come up with everything um, that you need to think of to include um, and there's probably I mean speak to friends and family that's probably the best advice if they've got married recently they'll be able to give you an idea of what proportion of things to put towards your budget um, because you can go online but it could be that could have been produced like five six seven eight nine ten years ago and it's completely irrelevant now so yeah I would speak to people or speak to a wedding planner um, and yeah hopefully you'll all be organizing weddings within your budget without going horribly over budget so that's all I'm going to speak about today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I'll speak to you all again next week. Bye.